Hello and welcome to a special edition of Gadget Guru. Now, you left me out last week because you went off seeing these 4K projectors without taking me. And that ah. was such an amazing experience. I'm not saying because you were not there. I'm just saying the projectors yeah. were really, really You know, so you are doing these for the elite, these 4K things. Now, I have, <laughs> I went and saw something different this week. And in fact, I'm right here in the showroom where I... But I have to say that, you know, while all of that time when I was not able to take you, it was because of, you know, some circumstances, but you deliberately yeah, gave me the wrong time to come here because you wanted because to you were late. Your, Yeah. No. So, so here's the thing, here's the thing. That's your, you know, that's your elite one, 7 lakh rupees projector, all of that, right? And this is the Aam Aadmi projector. And I'm telling you, I'm going to put a thesis before you right now. <laughs> At what point are people going to start to say that that television I have in my living room, why can't I replace it with a projector? Now, what are the issues with it? You'll say lighting. You'll say, I need a lot of space for it, and you'll say price point. And okay. of course, the fact that, you know, you'll have to have things like a projector mount. You don't I mean, need that's that. what I'm saying. So I know. You don't need that. If you solve so, all those, okay. one can so think of it. It's clumsy. You have to put it on a mount, you said. Lighting is an issue. Space. Distance space, from screens. Distance from screens short and space. most importantly, the ambient lighting. Most importantly, the ambient lighting. Do they have issues? Absolutely. Okay. So I'm going to show him some, at least a couple of projectors that perhaps start to answer that entire question and raise the question of whether you should start thinking about replacing that television you have with a projector. And at a price point, guess what the price point is? One lakh rupees. Now you can say it's a lot of money, but if you think of people buying LEDs and all that, so how what, much what, you so, pay? So when you did this story, which I haven't seen as yet, when you nine, did this story, what's the Nine square feet. So, oh. Nine feet. So for one lakh rupees. So you're getting a hundred inch plus. Correct. For a lakh of rupees. For a lakh of rupees. So that's what we're going to be showing you. Here's the entire rundown on today's show. Okay, so let's come back to projectors now. So you've got, for example, that Hitachi, which is lying out there, which is what I saw, and I'm just going to show you what we, small, what we saw. I mean, small it's small, mm -hmm. it's portable, you can carry it anywhere. You can watch a perfectly acceptable 3D picture in ambient lighting. We were actually seeing it with all these TV lights around us, which was, it was still decent. Mm -hmm. And you can put those really close to your, to your TV screen. And the price so this is a short lakh rupees. projector. I mean, the most yeah, important part. There are part. others which are shorter. We have, we're going to be showing, see, uh, showing you a BenQ in a short while, which is just, you can just put one meter away from the from the wall. But then it really starts to open up the question: Why then would you go for a TV and not a projector? Because I think, I mean, as I haven't seen the project projector, I haven't seen the performance, I haven't seen your stories yet. I still believe that somewhere the mind psychologically starts to accept a projector better because you're thinking it should be in pure darkness, so you are more forgiving. I okay. think the best way to do it is that to put a 65-inch TV and a projector in the same room. We that's may not be able to do it this time. We haven't okay, got that right. going. By the way, so I sat with Tanuj and this is what we saw. Let's just take a look at what the Hitachi can do. So we are sitting here taking a look at the Hitachi, which is short throw, full HD. Tanuj uh, from Sight & Sound is, is here with us as well. Rajesh is from Hitachi was wanting to show this to us. And I think the interesting thing to start noting is the price points at which you're starting to get recent, really decent quality 3D. Mm -hmm. This is what, one lakh rupees or thereabouts? It's actually a sub one lakh rupee projector, uh, Vikram, and it's, it's a phenomenal value for money product that one can uh, buy at this segment in this price point. It's a completely full HD projector, it's 3D. No, you know, I have to say that the quality of 3D which you are now getting is, I don't enjoy watching 3D in movie halls. Absolutely. But when you're watching it at home in a home theater, mm -hmm. even at that price point, at the one lakh price point, yes. that's really very acceptable quality 3D. And that's that's, that's surprising, because that, that's a change. It's as close as you can get to a cinema within your house. Now, of course, we're watching Avatar out here, and Avatar, right. the quality of the 3D is also superior. Absolutely. Does it do the same for all others? In the whole range of products that are available with due respect to all brands, this was reasonably a little better off than the others in terms of detailing and the depth of the 3D that you're able to achieve. This is short throw, right? That's right. How close can you move it to the wall? I could move this as close as maybe five or six feet and from the wall. Absolutely portable. It's, it's barely 
a little over a kilo and a half. It's not too heavy. So it's not very maintenance heavy. It's not at all. Pretty easy. Absolutely trouble free. Up, put it there and you can put it on a wall. Are we saying that with this sort of a thing now, you can actually get projectors which you can just take, put this into a living room? Most definitely. I would just pick this up, buy it off the shelf, go back home, put this up. I really do not need to dim my lights beyond the point. Okay, then let's just, let's just watch some of the quality and judge it for ourselves. Sure. Delivering a full 1080p, 78-inch image from just 2 meters is not an easy feat. But Hitachi manages to do it in a package that is compact and sleek. The projector also has a light source that delivers 1000 lumens with a contrast ratio of 20,000 is to 1, making images crystal clear and sharp. The Hitachi CP DH300 is available for 1 lakh 4,500 rupees. Okay, look, this is obviously nice uh, and great, but you know, I have to ask you a question. Absolutely. Can you do even shorter throw buns in this? Absolutely, you could do, like I told you earlier, you could probably move this about 5, 6, 7 feet also and get a smaller screen, a relatively smaller screen, but yes, it's absolutely doable. When is the first sub 1 lakh 4K coming? <laughs> I'm also waiting, Vikram. I, I think it should be in the pipeline, hopefully soon. All right, let's wait for that to come and in the meantime, let's finish sure. watching this movie. Absolutely. Okay, so that's just an indicator. You have others, you know, the BenQ, for example, which I have out here. You can see how portable this is and I could theoretically project 65 inch on your face right now. So I'd at be this larger distance. than life, literally. Absolutely. Right, okay. So now the interesting thing is this is truly short throw. That means you can put it on a table about a meter away from a wall, which is yeah. almost taking up the same space as a TV would. I mean, Correct. more or less, it's not exactly as thin as a slim TV, but you can get 65 to 75 inches from this. So then why necessarily always go for a TV and not consider one of these? Because mm -hmm. I can tell you at the end of the day, watching a movie with a projector is a different experience. I mean, you start dimming lights and you're doing all of that stuff and you get the recliners You know, in the some way that's also, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You also, it adds to the entire atmosphere when you have your lights dimmed out, you're doing all of that. So, again, I'm saying that was pretty impressive, the story. This one we're going to just review right now so we'll know more about this one. But I've got to say, you made a very compelling case for taking TVs out of the equation and projectors taking over. I didn't Wait, it's a, it's I would a, say that. It's just, it's just an interesting, you know, and it's, and it's so interesting how the world comes a full circle because five, six years ago, I remember doing a gadget guru saying maybe projectors are history. And now it will all be so LEDs. Saying, we, we actually are saying so. It will be LEDs. Now actually, I'm wondering, maybe projectors will be back. Maybe projectors will come into places that people never dreamt that projectors will come into. Mm -hmm. No, that means projector technology has improved much more than TV technology has for sure. Uh, because they've taken that. some leaps forward, right? Okay, let's and take a look at... Points. Most interestingly, the price exactly. points. The sort of picture which you get now at one lakh rupees. But we wouldn't consider it if the quality was just not there. I mean, the yeah. price wouldn't matter if it didn't... You it's could... I'm, the problem again, you could get 70,000 rupee projectors even four five years ago but the quality of the it's picture you won't watch a movie on that exactly. now you can so okay so now i think this short throw is the one I yeah, really let's, want to let's, try. let's take a look at let's it. do some short throws and see what happens benq's w1080 st may not win any awards with its design but it's solidly built and light enough to be lugged around from room to room the w1080 st can throw a 1080p 65 inch image from just one meter the projector is also ISF certified from customization to any room and offers modes that can help optimize your image. The 1080 ST has a contrast ratio of 10,000 is to 1 with a light source of 2,000 lumens which is a slight step down from Itachi's CPDH300. Having said that, it still offers excellent picture reproduction with nice clean images. Like the Hitachi, BenQ also throws in a speaker and once again without anyone won't want to connect it to better speakers right away. Priced at 1,10,000 rupees, it is a bit more expensive and judged purely on price alone, Hitachi may offer a better bang for your buck. Okay, so interesting times here in projected technology, but interesting time also as technology moves into different ways of doing pay TV solutions and uh, at the cable end. Right, and you know, interesting also is that companies that are not really known to be doing all of this are getting into this, companies like Cisco, Broadcom, and others. I mean, Cisco, pretty much known as the father of the internet, literally, and suddenly they're doing things which are completely and totally out of their domain, which means how much more interesting is 
content and content streaming becoming for everybody into the future. So let's take a very quick look at some of the products that are now starting to come in and watch this space because I think the opportunities that are going to be thrown up by these boxes is something we'll be talking a lot about. With the Indian television industry taking its first baby steps towards a more connected future, 